Hey everyone! I just wanted to share how I organize the landing page of my courses in Canvas. First of all, the course modules are the default, and while that is where I want my students to spend most of their time, it isn't very dynamic in the sense of showing where we are in the course at any particular moment, and it's a bit visually dry. So, I like to use one of Canvas's other options for a homepage. There are several here, and I will end up using the syllabus, but more on that in just a moment. There's also a problematic link in the course navigation menu called Syllabus, and I'm hoping to kill two birds with one stone here. First, why is the Syllabus link problematic? Well, if I click on Syllabus, and I actually have a syllabus in here, it is a long way down to one of the coolest features that actually exists in what Canvas calls the course syllabus, which is the course summary. I love the course summary. It's wonderful. It has all of the assignments grouped by due date all through the entire course, which right now is just four or five modules so that I can demonstrate here. So this course summary is wonderful, but if a student comes to the syllabus page, expects a syllabus, reads some syllabus, probably doesn't read the entire syllabus, and then never knows that they have this wonderful course summary resource here. If a student does locate the course summary and knows it's there, then if my syllabus is here, every time they visit this page, they have to scroll down through all this material that once they've read it once will probably never need to be read again in order to get to this course summary that I assume they're going to use a lot. So. Why is the course syllabus link a problem? Because it's not a great place for a course syllabus. What it should be is the course summary. Not really a syllabus, because the syllabus doesn't really work here. And the course summary is great. The link should probably be called course summary. Not exactly sure why it's not. So instead of using the syllabus as is, I put my course syllabus in the modules. So my very first module has several pages where the syllabus is broken into hopefully user-friendly sections. So this is kind of problematic because students will be clicking a syllabus that's not a syllabus. And I do want them to have this wonderful course summary available to them. But I also want my syllabus to be in a very clear place. So here's my workaround. You can use the syllabus as your course homepage. Now my course homepage will default to the syllabus, but the best part of this is, if I go to settings and remove the syllabus from our list of course navigation links, and then hit save, the student now no longer has a confusing syllabus link, yet they get the functionality of the syllabus with the course summary right on the home page. Then it's just a question of making the information that's just above that course summary feel like a home page. So here's what I do. I actually have in pages a different page for each module that we have plus some boilerplate. So in this case I have things that I always want my students to see. I'm going to copy and paste this entire page. So I just have a page called Syllabus Boilerplate. I'm going to go back to that home page, which is now the course syllabus. I'm going to hit Edit, and I'm going to paste in some things that I always want the students to have on the home page of their course. So those things for me happen to be my name, a quick way to email me, the actual course syllabus pages, and then a way to join virtually my office hours via Zoom in this case. My office hours are listed, and I have a link to the course general forum, which I call the open mic, where students can go and share videos or discuss comments or questions they might have between themselves, or perhaps set up a carpool for a concert or something. So I have these things that I always want my students to have access to, and then in order to make the homepage more dynamic, I have a series of Canvas pages that are tailored to each module. So the first one is a welcome note and then a quick link over to the syllabus and orientation module. The second deals with the first concepts that we deal with in the course. 
and always a quick link to the module that we're actually in at that moment in time. I always have a little description of what we should be learning that week and objectives for that week as well. Sometimes I'll add a video of something fun that's related. You get the idea. So in order to make this part of my homepage, what I do is each Monday when the new module starts, at least for me it's Monday, I will have my boilerplate already in there. Then I will go grab the page that I need. Let's say we're in chapter three or module three, and I just do a command A or control A on a PC to select all and hit copy. And then I just go back to my home page, hit edit, and above all my boilerplate, I paste in whatever the current things are. So we have some information that is particular to the moment that we're in in the course. If they scroll down, they get boilerplate that's always available to them here, like office hours link and email. And if they keep going, they get the course summary. Now, this is still a lot of scrolling down for many students to get down to the course summary. So the other thing I do is in each of my module pages, I have a quick little text anchor link called course summary that they can click on that will jump them right down to the course summary. And then we get to the next week. What do I do? I hit edit. I delete the things that are not boilerplate. Hit delete. Grab my next page. Let's say we'll go and we'll go backwards here. Select all, copy that out of the page, and then go back to my home page and paste in the new week's information. And there I have, okay, we're in module one now. If I need the course summary, I can click it and jump down. And on the student side, it's just much cleaner. Just modules, which is where I want them most of the time. Announcements, grades, no syllabus link here, but they have access to all the benefits of the syllabus link right on the home page with the course summary. So that's that. So we have a little bit of current information. We have a little bit of boilerplate, and then we have this great course summary right on the home page. And the students then, I hope, have a much more uh, dynamic experience. And every time they log into the course, they immediately know where we are and where they stand. OK, ready for bonus round? Wondering how I got that course summary link to look like a button? We can do this with any link that we have in our course, at least for now. Who knows whether Canvas will turn this off or not at some point in the future. So I make a link like I would any other link. And then we need to go over to the HTML editor. And mine's luckily at the top, so I can find it. You can always do a Command or Control F and then look for the text of your link, course summary. And so it's highlighting that for me. So in case my link happens to be halfway down the course in this mess of HTML. It's very findable. So here is my link. Links are always started with an anchor tag, A for anchor. And inside the anchor tag, you will need to add this class equals, and then inside quotations, you put button, BTN, and then a space, and then button dash primary or button dash info. There's a couple different ones. But if you just do button, it'll be some kind of gray simple here I'll show you a kind of simple gray button like this I'm gonna update you'll get that which is kind of nice too and then if you do button primary you get the blue one that I had if you do button info I think in canvas it's black or gray let's try button info it's kind of nice to have these little helpers that add some color difference to your buttons. That's kind of nice. That was button info. You can also do at least Bootstrap has button danger. Let's see if Canvas does that one. Ooh, danger. And we can always check the Bootstrap site and see. Oh, let's try warning. Let's see if warning works. So of course, you're setting it as a button with the first tag here and then a space. And then this will give you a little bit of color styling. Uh, it was button warning, wasn't it? Let's see. Nice. And we get the orange. Any others? 
They're not going to be the same colors. Oh, let's try success. Nice, and we get the green. I'm going back to primary. And there we go. Okay, bonus round two. How do I make this link go to the same page that I'm on right at Canvas's course summary? Ready? So what we're going to do is look at our link first. So we're going to have the HTML editor open. And here's my anchor. The trick is inside the href tag, you will need to have a hashtag, a pound sign. I think that's actually called an octothorpe. That's a fun word, right? So that guy says to the HTML on the page that this is going to be on the same page and is an ID. So then we just need something that has the ID of whatever we define here. So you do hashtag and then whatever you're going to define. I call it course summary because that's where I want it to go. And then I just need to use this exact text without the hashtag wherever on my page I want it to go. So I want it to go to the very bottom of the page that I've made. And this part is canvases, right? Canvas is auto generating this course summary. So I just need a hidden anchor right here at the very bottom of the part of the page that I've created. So I do that by going to the bottom and you can use almost anything you want. And you'll see that I have a little paragraph tag at the bottom here with an ID equals, and there's our text, course summary. You could do it with a divider if you don't want any spacing. Paragraph, P for paragraph, those always have a little bit of spacing around them automatically. So if you like the little bit of spacing, it's good. You can also do a divider, D-I-V, that has no styling typically. That will truly not affect your page. So any kind of HTML that you want here with the ID of course summary because we've defined that we want it to be course summary, right? Up here in our link at the top. So our link says hashtag jump to the course summary, which is really the item with the ID of course summary. And then down here, we give something that ID. And I called it by course summary. If you mess up your typing in any way, it won't work. And I'm gonna go back to having it just inside a paragraph tag. And I update. So what this really does is make this link jump to the item with the ID that's actually right here and invisible to us. So I just put it at the bottom of whatever text I put in my portion of the syllabus. And then I can click my course summary link and jump right over. Which also means that if you did want to keep your syllabus here and just have students be able to get to the course summary quickly, you could just use the bonus round, make a button, with a anchor tag that jumps onto the same page at the course summary. So that's another option, might be fun. But I kind of like using this as this dynamic thing and then always having this boilerplate built in. Okay, well, I hope that's helpful. I'm signing out.